I would say the biggest change in terms of that digital transformation I made at that MSP was onboarding. I'm very proud of what I did um, because without you know, swearing on this call, it was an utter disaster. Let's just put it that way. Every customer that we touched that came into our organization that we were supposed to start new business with had a problem, had a problem with us onboarding them. Always had an issue. Every single time we put in our tools, every time we would put USB drives and install agents into their laptop like it was 2003, right? Taking five, 10 minutes out of that, that poor person's day to install an agent. It was a very old and antiquated. The problem is you get you get so defined in your business processes that you're not modernizing your business processes along with the technology. That it, again, that's that month in, month out, that year in, year out process that every MSP has to do, right? That configuration. Are you using the most out of N Central? Are you using the most out of your PSA? Are you using the most out of your IT service management, your mail security, your uh, no before training, wh whatever it might be, whatever tech, DNS filter, whatever it might be, are you using as an MSP the most out of that technology? And I quickly realized, one, we were not. So I completely got rid of ConnectWise. And it wasn't really a ConnectWise problem. ConnectWise is a fantastic RMM, fantastic PSA. We kept the PSA, we got rid of the RMM. I brought in Enable because I, one, spent 10 years teaching people how to use it. So I felt like you know, teaching my internal techs on how to use it was going to be the easiest thing. And I wasn't really getting anywhere with uh, ConnectWise at the time. Um, I asked them to do some network, network device monitoring for us. They were like, we don't do that. Uh, we'll charge you $2,000. I was like, You're, I'm not paying for that. So we kicked them out. Um, so one thing I did do is bring in Enable and I set it all up. I trained all our techs. Again, all those techs that were using remote control to start with, no. You had to get approval for remote control. Remote control is a secondary step. I don't want people remoting into people's computers and bothering them when all we have to do is run a script in the back end. Again, I could, I could talk for an hour just on that process, but um, there was a lot of process change. Not everything's technology, not everything's technical, right? This configuration, a lot of it was business process, okay? So I also found that modernizing our internal processes to, to stay current with other MSPs was really what that three-year journey of mine really was.